Ladies and gentlemen, this is Current Echo Darkness playing Stranded Deep, a current early access game on Steam call that is currently an alpha actually, and it's a really interesting game in that it isn't... I'm going to skip the intro because it's nothing really that important, but anyways, you start out... Um, video graphics seem a bit weird right now. Sorry. Uh, you can't change the resolution, apparently. <laughs> um, oh, I've never realized that my game wasn't on Ultra. Okay, vertical sync. I really don't care for vertical sync. Fixed frame rate. 60 FPS. It works better than vertical sync because you don't got no stupid SMA. I believe that's better. Okay. Yep, okay. Game looks pretty. So anyways, as you can see, I am currently... Close to an island. Ooh. They made rafting a little bit better. But anyways. Yeah, as I was saying, you start out on an island with almost nothing but a lighter, pocket knife, and water bottle. And now, uh, with the recent update, update they uh, gave a little bit of information on it. So, say this shows its durability, this shows how many servings, and this, this is infinite, so... Anyways, so the first thing you want to do is start finding sticks. Uh, most islands should have at least four or five sticks. So here's one right here. Then here's another one right here. You want at least two to start off with. Uh, you want to find three rocks uh, that should be scattered around the island. I found islands where they only have like one rock. Might as well grab this stick. They only have one rock, so you can't really... Uh, build what you need to build um, There's another rock, so I need one more uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, The main items in the game an axe and a hammer require uh, Three rocks and two sticks in total and this is where most of your crafting will be based around rocks and sticks so Once you get three rocks if I can find a friggin rock and you can't, you can't mine them out of uh, bigger rocks yet. I don't know if they're going to implement that, but it'll be interesting if they do. So anyways, uh, so once you get the rocks and stuff, now you want to find a plant called the yucca. Where is it? Yucca, right here. This thing. This uh, basically gives you rope. Uh, just cut it and you get these things called lashings. Get as much as you can. There's only like two or three plants on uh, island. So once you get your uh, plants and stuff. In order to craft in this game, this game is a kind of a strange crafting system. But anyways, you want to drop the items that you want to craft. So in order to create uh, an axe, you want to drop a lashing, a stick, and a rock. Then once you get those rocks down, you want to... Uh, left click I believe left click and you can craft it like that and it just pops up on the ground so once you do that this you can uh, use this to cut down trees uh, bash coconuts um, create rock shards out of rocks it's uh, probably the most useful tool you're gonna get uh, so you want to make sure you have at least some rocks around you so you can uh, you know mine the trees and stuff and make more you know <laughs> so then the next one is a hammer which is almost similar but instead of one rock it's two rocks this allows you uh, once you get enough materials to actually start building your house and other things that require a hammer so once you got that um, it's time to get chopping. Chopping's a bit boring in this game, so uh, prepare for a little bit of... Uh, I think it takes about 10 hits on a palm tree uh, to uh, well, chop it down. Then, okay, so once you got it chopped down, then you have to chop it some more to uh, separate the logs. Ah, come on, hit it. This is another 10 hits, which... It's not done yet. Once it's done, then you have to chop it again so you can get some more sticks. Okay. 
And where the hell did- what the fuck? Where did it cut from? Are you serious? It didn't even cut. Is this a glitch? I don't know. With the new uh, version, there may be some glitches with uh, some things around here. There we go. So once you get it cut up, then you can cut the log here to get four sticks. And these sticks, sticks is, sticks and rocks are basically your fundamentals for building anything in this game. So with five sticks, you can use that to create a campfire, which is useful for cooking. Cooking and uh, boiling water once you get a bucket, even though it's hard to find a bucket around here. Uh, I haven't found one yet actually, but yeah so once you get your campfire uh, you can also use rocks and uh, lashings and sticks to upgrade it so it's a lot easier to cook normally I like building my uh, hammer and stuff first before I actually make the campfire just in case I run out of rocks and if I do find myself out of rocks uh, I often find myself going to another island making sure that I actually keep the direction correctly because once, once you lose direction of your island, um, it's not pretty. You probably won't find it again. So, I had a compass last time. But, um, yeah, if you don't have enough rocks on that island, it's best to move to another island. Because once you get your, uh, um, once you get your tools ready you can basically go to any other island which I'm gonna do right now because it seems like this islands out of rocks so what you want uh, and right now there's currently a glitch with the paddle um, if you pause mid stroke then undo it you actually can uh, double or even triple your speeds which is really nice because um, well this is a glitch of course right now but you can also find yourself uh, getting out of the raft accidentally. And this is really useful, one, because there's sharks. Uh, sharks will attack you. They'll, uh, they made them in a recent patch a little bit more aggressive, so they'll attack you more often. But sharks can attack you. They might be curious and might not actually attack you, like just tip your boat or something. But it's still a scary experience, and I find this glitch really helpful, because, uh, normally, it's really slow. And I can stop now. And another neat feature of this game is that, uh, there's shipwrecks around the islands, as you can see, a shark. But, uh, there's shipwrecks on various islands, and sometimes you'll find them with crates. In this, I found a flare gun, which... I'm not entirely too sure how to use it yet. Uh, basically, it can scare away sharks. Sharks and other predators, but so far there's only sharks at the moment. Ooh, there's another case down here. Um, swimming, yes, there's breath. And I can't seem to... Flippers! I don't have any inventory space for that yet. Let me... I'm gonna go grab my thing over here and... Hold on. I'm going to change my field of view up. Yeah, that looks nice. I never really noticed the graphics options in the previous update. But yeah. Uh, you can also right-click a lot to move things. So like you can move this raft by right-clicking, which is really useful. Uh, you can move any item that normally you can't. You can move pretty easily. Uh, you press Q to drop your thing. Which is nice. Um, for now, I don't need my water bottle. Nor do I need my lashings. I glitched through the fucking raft. God damn it. But anyways, I'm gonna see what flippers do. I'm guessing they equipped and you can swim faster? I don't seem to be moving that much quicker though. Still. Um, I could be wrong, they might be just for nothing, and I did all that work. So anyways, once you're to the new island, pick up as many rocks as you can. And normally, the second island is where you can actually start building your base. Because then you have everything you need. You have all the rocks, you have all the, um, 
you know, things that you need. And is there another crate in here? Yeah, there is another crate in here. Oh, this is like the land of shipwrecks. Ooh, a hammer. In addition, you can also find some of the craftables that uh, you can normally build, such as your axe in a better form. So uh, right now I just found a normal hammer, which has a lot more durability than the normal hammer. And if you were to find an axe, it would also chop down quicker. Okay, just searching around for more rocks. I got four rocks. Need two more so I can make my campfire. There's more yucca here too. Yeah, this is this too. I forgot. Wooly. I believe this is from Castaway, I believe. It's from some show called Castaway and it's a relation to Wilson or something. I don't know. But it's kind of a neat little thing. It's an Easter egg. It has no practical use, of course, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. Let's see if there's... Yep. And there's a scary shark. Uh, before, you're able to kill them fairly easy, but I think they made it so they're a little bit more tough to kill. In the last patch, and someone is messaging me. And I don't feel like answering at the moment. I bet it's my friend. I just recently sold my... Uh, one of my monitors, so... Ooh, another rock. Fuck. You can also climb up trees and find coconuts up here. You can just grab them. Or you can also just chop them down and it does the same thing. But uh, coconuts, uh, they can be used to both for your both uh, drinking as well as eating. So they're both kind of like multi-use. You want to make sure you like save them up. And is there any more rocks? Currently at five rocks. I just need one more and I'm basically fine. It doesn't seem like there's any more rocks. <clears throat> Too bad you can't use rocks to make more rocks. Yep. Sharks are pretty abundant in this game, actually. It's kind of scary thing to even move from one... I Ooh, rock. Yay! Okay. And I'm going to have to put my paddle back in there. So I might make this my main little operation base thingy and, uh, okay. and it's still glitched out a little I think I may have lost one of my lashings unless it popped through the wall nope it's still in there yep it's still in there I gotta make I don't think I need it right now though Anyways, I can drop my rocks right here. I'm gonna have to use this baby. Get five. Come in. Come in. Come in. Of course, this is like the worst fucking tree to cut down because it's so small. Come on. That. Apparently you're also Superman. You can move entire fucking trees just by right clicking it and dragging it. It's kind of funny. Okay. Campfire. Let's make a campfire right here. It works. Then use right click. I mean the left click. Yeah, left click. Uh, crafting to make a fire pit. Then if you grab three more sticks, which I'm really too lazy to cut down another tree for. There's one stick. I'll just find them around the island. There's plenty of them, I hope. Two a stick. Three stickers. Yay. Then let's do this. Then I can make a fire spit. So this makes uh, cooking a lot easier. And for those that don't know how to check your stats of like hunger and 
while thirst. Uh, you press you press and hold F, which you should bring you to this screen. Then you click, and it will change modes from your health bar to stuff like that. So, yeah. Okay. So, for now, I should probably start stocking up on some food and begin building my base. So, uh, food sources around here can be, of course, um, which I'm gonna call it, uh, coconuts. You can bash them for both drinking and stuff. Or, uh, normally there is small crab holes around here which allow you to uh, basically hold crabs around. But, yep, there's a crab right here. You can kill it with a knife and just grab it. Uh, there's both male and female crabs, so there is breeding in this. So uh, just make sure you keep at least one male and one female crab around here and you'll basically have an infinite supply of crabs. There's a small crab. Try not to kill the small ones. Kill the big ones because then, yeah, you know. There's yeah, right here. Ooh, there should be enough. So I'll just kill two more crabs. There we go. And then you're dead. There we go. And it looks like the sun is setting. Unlike in a lot of other survival games, this game currently has no, uh, no real survival aspect during the night because there is really no monsters other than sharks so as long as you're not uh, going out to another island during the night you should be fine because I think sharks are a little bit more active at the night so you might find yourself uh, getting chased by them <laughs> oh god you should have seen the first night it was terrible so anyways to cook well for this fire spit uh, you just put your crab on there, and it will give you a ding saying when it's done. Very realistic, I know. But it'll give you a small cooking ding, and that's when you know it's done. Then, what else is there? Uh, for the other two, the one with the rocks around and the one without, you actually have to hold the food over the fire and wait till it's done, which is a little bit ineffective in time, because... When it's like this, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to sit there. You can actually do something else like chop wood and chop wood, basically. Anyways, while that's cooking, I'm going to go cut this. Uh, when you cut the end of a tree, you get uh, ferns, like uh, fern leaves. And this is, these are useful for both uh, fire fuel. Because once the fire pit goes out, you're of course going to need to fill it up. This can be used, as well as logs, and yeah, it's done. The cooking ding, I don't know if you guys heard it over my voice, but once it's done, you just click, and for some reason, this game doesn't like to differentiate between the crabs, so you're going to have to really cook them all before you can actually start eating them. So as I was saying, you can use these for uh, fire fuel or for building your walls of houses, which I'm going to be building as soon as I can find a good tree to cut down. And it doesn't really give that much light, sadly enough, so let's cut it over here. There we go. I am scared to see how big this friggin' file is to upload. Um, just uploading a 10 minute video was a good 1.5 gigabytes. Like, I have really good internet at my dorm, but the thing that really sucks is, like, I think they throttle it in the upload, like, you can't really get more than a certain, uh, speed, so I find myself, uh, going a lot slower than I really wish. So that's the second crab, and I put the last one on there, and as you can see, the crab, and you probably shouldn't eat unless you really need to. Uh, if you're low on health, you want to make sure that you're uh, 
your water and your food supply is up, then you'll start regening health, kind of like Minecraft, where if you're not full, you don't regen. Anyways, uh, crabs give about, hmm, maybe they increased it. They should give about two, one or two, around there. Um, I'm gonna bring this over here too. And yeah. So one or two, and coconuts give about the same. I'm not sure about a bottle of water. So anyway, yeah. Okay, I need one more lock so I can create a foundation, which is your building block of everything you have. And you can now make a door, which is kind of nice. Uh, before you didn't really have a door, but there... At the moment, there isn't much use for a door. Uh, there's no real, like, I mean, maybe for cosmetic purposes, like if you have nothing else to build. But, um, other than that, a door is useless until they actually start making creatures for land. Because the only creatures they have, I believe, is are um, turtles and crabs. Turtles I haven't seen yet, which will be interesting to see. So anyways. Okay, let's make... Let's make that foundation. So, to make buildings, you have to use your hammer. Which is slightly different and allows it. It's kind of like a sim slash... Uh, I don't know. It's a strange concept, but you have to... Use your hammer in order to build, basically. And I can't seem to put it anywhere around here, but I can put it up right next to here. Which is kind of inconvenient for me, but I can... Let me find a different place. Too bad I can't move my campfire after I put it down. That'd be nice. Eh, for now, I'll just have this be like a small storage area. For now. Until I start expanding. Ugh. <sighs> looks good so each wall takes about no each support takes a lot, a lot of sticks so that isn't too hard I need one of these in order to create a support which you need to basically create your walls you need four for each foundation whatever it's kind of obvious then each wall takes uh, two palm fronds, these, whatever, two of them, and f how many? Uh, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought because two, two, <coughs> god damn it. Two palm fronds and four, four sticks. So basically a small one by one house with walls uh, would take about there's eight then there's four that's twelve uh, this is uh, disregarding one of the walls and for entrances and stuff so it would take about 24 sticks in order to build a basically full house then there's still the um, roof which takes another four so that's 28 sticks and I think uh, 10 palm fronds so it's it's a bit of a stretch just to make a one by one room that noise is creepy why do they always have creepy noises Still, uh, for an indie game, this game has really, really nice graphics. I don't know how, um, how unoptimized they are. I have a really decent, uh, build, so I'm not sure how bad it is. I'm getting a smooth 60 frames, uh, on max, I think. Everything looks max. Ooh, shader quality, you can't even change that. 
Yep, everything looks good. build I think I can build two walls okay so once again use your hammer then you can build a wall but you have to position kind of weirdly uh, let's grab that let's build another wall morning again <coughs> okay that's a bit of a glitch there I think oh unless it's going up through the clouds but it's still <coughs> sorry still kind of a glitchy sunrise sorry I had to take a drink of water oh, crap. I might go eat soon. I'm hungry. Anyways, let's cut down one more tree. Wait, no, no, no. I don't need one more tree. I just brought like a huge ass tree up over here. I'm gonna go cut this. They changed the physics engine a little bit. Okay, come on. Stay there while I catch you. Okay, let's build a wall. Eh, I could just ignore the wall and just have it like that. It'll save some space because I'm not really trying to protect anything, but. Whatever, I already made it. Just do that. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, I'm not running out of space. I'm currently recording on my SSD, which is kind of small at the moment because I have a lot of shit on there. For some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I really shouldn't really be installing everything on there. I have like 20, I have like a 20, 20 gigabyte folder of just pictures that I use for my uh, Facebook page. And I move for the win. Okay. Wait, why did I bring so many palm fronds? Oh well. Let's cut you. Ooh, I'm running out of durability on my axe. Oh well, I pretty much have some good stuff here. Do I have any rocks? No, I don't. I have a hammer. So. Okay, rough. We have completely finished our first one by one building in A. Swag. Okay. Yep, see? That's a shark. I wonder if I can kill it. I don't trust myself to try and kill it though. I don't have anything good. The you little bitch. I'll kill you one day. Man, there's also a glitch where sharks can uh, apparently swim in land. So anyways, for now, that is my first video of this game. Currently have a small one by one building, a fireplace, and currently getting everything set up for my home base. So yeah, 
thank you guys for watching and apparently you don't have shadows so bye bye guys